Happy Halloween, everyone! Welcome to ITK Bar Camp session. Today, let me walk you through the process of how to submit your local Linux build and testing result to our nightly ITK dashboard. So this is uh, what we um, have on the nightly dashboard every day. Uh, we have lots of machines that contributing um, to this dashboard every single night uh, with different platforms. And then if you click on um, the advanced view, you can actually see all the scripts that it's used to submit um, the uh, testing and testing result to the dashboard. So uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to set up the scripts in your local machine so that you can do the same. And those are the site's name um, and the build name. And then this, those results are uh, generated by the ctest functionality and directly submit results um, to to this website. So if you look at your ITK Barcamp documentation page, first of all, you need to get this uh, dashboard script, uh, which is actually located on uh, uh, topic branch of the ITK Git repository. So just follow the instruction and then um, pull the script from this branch. So here is my setup. And I already downloaded that ITK scripts in here. So you can see this is the uh, common um, CMake file we're going to be used um, to submit our nightly build result to the dashboard. And then this one is the customize the CMIC file we're going to create um, to um, specify our site name and the different uh, CMIC variables that for for that specific for this specific submission. So first of all, you just need to um, put your uh, email there and then specify the site name that you can identify from the dashboards and then um, tell the uh, the dashboard what's what's the build system and what type of uh, build it is. Uh, for this example, I'm running a, a gentle Linux system, gentle Linux system, and then I have a GCC version 4.6.3 and I'm going to submit a release build. Um, and um, you pretty much can uh, make a copy of this file and then make adjustment um, as you see fits to your system configuration. All the important um, ITK CMake configuration are listed here. So for example, uh, in this dashboard submission, I would like to test all modules. So ITK build all modules is always on. And and also I want to make sure it's, um, it has the V3 compatibility. So just list your uh, options here. And then you have to enable the testing. And I want to also uh, build the examples. So those are the um, important configurations you need to pay attention on. Um, and then at the end, it will just make use of this um, um, script that's coming from the, the topic branch of ITK Git repository um, to do all the magics that help you to submit your result to the dashboard. So once this um, customized uh, CMake file is created, uh, you can just uh, follow the instruction and run the C test like this. So we could just give a quick try here. Um, oh, but first of all, yeah, before we do, we're doing that, um, you have to make sure you you have downloaded 
the correct um, uh, source code s somewhere. So in my setup, I have my ITK tree source code here in this folder. And, and then I also have the, the Bing folder created. And uh, so every those setup is actually reflect, uh, reflected in this um, in this CMIC script. So let's go through through that quickly again. Um, so right here, um, I have specified the dashboard root is the root of the ITK scripts. And in that same folder, I have the source directory set up and then the binary directory um, set up. So you have to specify the source um, directory according to your, you know, where you put your ITK source tree. So once that is set up, you can just run ctest-s. We'll just uh, feed this uh, little ctest script to ctest function and then you will just uh, run build and test and at the end you will submit all the uh, results um, to the website so it will take a while but it looks like it's um, things are running you can quickly go to your binary directory just to make sure it's there so this is my um, binary directory, I specify that in that um, customize the CMIC file. It looks like uh, you. I already have the um, bunch of stuff generated. It, it might take uh, uh, an half an hour to an hour in this machine to, to see the results um, on the dashboard. So at the end of, at the end of all this, um, you should be able to find your find your name, your site name over here. And then also the build name should be um, the same as you specified in that script. This is the, this is the um, easiest way to submit your uh, nightly build to the dashboard. And also if you, if you want, you can set up your nightly cron job. Um, so put everything to a, uh, shell scripts like this and then you can run your cron tab or added your cron tab so that every day at a certain time uh, the scripts will be running so the scripts will just uh, run the CMIC snippet and then also if you want you can generate the uh, log file so that you can see um, if anything goes wrong, you can see the, the logs here. So I hope this um, video is helpful. Um, thank you for watching.